Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to be revealing the tool that I've been using for over a month now testing this tool. It's an AI agent that can completely tag and title your images for you on autopilot. Now, you guys may have heard me talk about this for, uh, before. Excuse me. Let me just uh, increase my volume while I'm talking here. You guys may have heard me uh, talk about this before. I mentioned it to you where I said I'm using an AI tool that completely automates the tagging and titling. Many people who watch my videos consistently know that I've said this. And I actually said that I'm testing this tool. It's not released publicly, but I've been testing it. Well, today, I'm going to actually show it to you. I think it released a couple of days ago. I'm not sure exactly on the date. But let me kind of show you guys this because it makes life a hundred times easier. And don't get me wrong. There are other tools out there just like this one, okay, the stock scanner tool, that can help you tag at 100% ease. Like, for example, if I want to tag this image, I could just take a simple screenshot. So I'll go like this, right? Something basic. Go to the tool, hit choose file, drag and drop it, hit analyze. And then what will happen is if I click properly, it will provide me a list of keywords. And I can copy those keywords, right? Just like this. I can scroll down to the tags and I can paste them, assuming that there were no keywords there. And it's a phenomenal tool. It does really, really good. And this was a tool that I used for a very long time. The good thing about this tool is it's budget friendly. It's very affordable. But the tool I'm about to show you now is a little bit different. It has titling and tagging capabilities. And more importantly, I don't need to select on an image. It will do everything for me. Now, that sounds kind of mind-boggling, but let me show you what it looks like. So, for example, let me just go ahead and hit Save Work here. Let me hit Refresh on this page. I'll just go ahead and refresh this page real quick. And what I'll do is I'll go to the tool, okay? Go to the tool. I have my API key saved. Once you save your API key, just refresh. And this is my console log, by the way, this little green box that shows up. And this just kind of shows everything that's going on. You can enable it or disable it. It doesn't really matter. I keep it disabled most of the times, but I'll hit start here. And what this will do is it will go from image to image to image, tagging, then titling, tagging, then titling, tagging, then titling. You could see, I'm not going to move my mouse. I'm going to put my mouse right here on my top bar, and I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to take my hand completely off the keyboard. And you could see what's going on here. It's going from image to image to image. It's on the fourth image right now. It just added the tags and it's adding the titles. I already had a bunch of tags um, added for these images that you're looking at right now. I specifically added these images just so you can see um, very simply how it works. So something super simple. So just like a bunch of different, uh, I guess you could say logos or illustrations of different animals. We have lions, jaguars, tigers, dragons, whatever. But you can kind of get to see the point here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the tool because at this point it's done a, a decent amount. You could see here it's stopped and I'll just go ahead and hit save. It stopped at this dragon. Now you can see on the tags for me what it's doing is it's going anywhere from like I don't know, 42 tags to like 47. That's the results I'm seeing right here. Um, and I don't think it saved this one, but it definitely did one, two, three. It did all of them pretty much except for this one for some reason. But maybe I skipped over it by mistake, clicked on it. Not sure what happened there. But uh, here I have a log. So if I want to see what's going on exactly, I could figure it out. But let's look at some of these tags. So this is a picture of the lion that I just took the screenshot of, right? And I added the tags, but this automatically did it for me, right? So, for example, it added the keyword lion, mascot, fierce, animal, emblem, illustration, cartoon, character, design, roar, head, mascot, logo, vibrant colors, graphic art, wildlife, jungle, jungle strength, uh, ferocity, stylized, digital art, art style, bold lines, expressive face, fantasy creature. I could keep reading, right? But there's a lot of keywords here. Uh, but you guys get the point, right? So here's the dragon one, dragon illustration, colorful art, design, symbol, mystical, beast, fire, head, uh, creature, mytholog mythology, vector graphics, cartoon, animal, legendary. So you guys get the point, right? It's nothing too crazy here, but it's adding plenty of tags. So that's a huge benefit. 
But the best feature about this for me personally is that I don't have to go from image to image taking a screenshot of each image. Now, let me be clear, okay? The, the system that I've showed previously, taking screenshots of the image kind of like this, right? And then going to the stock scanner tool, dragging and dropping the image, and then hitting analyze, that is a very, very good method. And it works phenomenally. I would say 10 out of 10. This other method that you just saw me do right now is a little bit better. I would say 11 out of 10 or 12 out of 10 because it titles for me as well. So it cuts down on that. But more importantly, it does it automatically, right? So it goes from image to image to image, which is the benefit. So this has been the tool that I have been testing, like I said, for about the past month. For those who know, there's this guy named Akif who builds these tools. And sometimes we'll go back and forth, have different ideas, and I'll contribute in different ways. I am an affiliate for his business, but I am also heavily involved in it, meaning I do certain designs for him, I do certain landing page designs, I contribute in certain ways, and we spit back ideas. And this was a tool that I was really looking forward to. And one of the benefits of this tool, like I said, is that it does things automatically. The reason why I was looking forward for it is because I figured titling is one of the most important things, right? Tagging is one of the most important things. We have machines that can replace that. But what about something that can replace my part instead of clicking each image and manually doing it, right? And, and you, using the AI to automate it. What about the AI essentially automating itself? This is a huge benefit for me personally. Um, now, instead of taking those extra few seconds to manually click on buttons, it will do it for me. That's the benefit here. Now, does it replace a titling tool? Yes. Does it replace a tagging tool? Yes. So you're saving quite amount, a good amount of money. The tool itself, I don't think it's for beginners. That's just my personal opinion. If you're a beginner, you're likely on a budget. You're probably not going to want to spend any money. So I would say go for this tool. This tool is the stock scanner tool. It's cheaper. It's 20 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch a video on this, um, even though you already know how it works. But this tool, the newer tool, the AI agent tool, is 50 bucks, 49.99. Now, for people who watch, uh, who, who are students of the course, so let me just pull up the course real quick, superstockai.com or superstockai.com slash course if you're a student of the paid course you get a discount when you join any tool i've told you guys this before but that's one of the benefits of being a student of the course you get a discount when you're buying software so i'll leave a link in the description and it will give you 25 percent off 25 percent off um and and it won't be excuse me it won't be in the description but it'll be in the course everybody who's a student of the course knows what i'm talking about we have a section that is a software section that has all the different discount codes for um, our tool. So 25% off to any student in the course who wants to use this tool. Now, why is this tool a little bit more effective? Well, it cuts down on time. I don't have to manually click on certain things. Now, let's put this all together in the mainframe here. Let's think about this from an automation standpoint. Now, competition is really in danger. Because you got to think about it. We're already automating the creation process. We're automating the upscale process. Once again, everybody who's in the course knows what I'm talking about here. And at this point now, not only are we automating those things, but we're automating the publication process. One of the updates, the next updates for this tool, is that it will automatically select the right settings here for you. So it will select AI generated, it will select photo, animal, whatever. It will select all this kind of stuff for each individual photo. That's the next update that I talked with on Akif on this tool, which I'm super excited for. Now, in terms of the settings, one of the things that's good about Adobe Stock in general is that I can select like more than one in one shot, kind of like this. I could select like six images, for example, and I could select, for example, illustrations. I can select animals if they're all the same, right? I can select AI generative tools. And guys, keep in mind, one of the tips that I gave, I gave in, this, in the course videos, I gave it on this YouTube channel. It, what I said was when you create images, create them in bulk, create large amounts of quantity of image types. But when you submit them, only submit a select few. 
And when you submit, you want to have variety in what you submit. So for example, if I create, let's just for the sake of argument, let's just say I create a thousand lion illustration type images that look similar to this. And I create a thousand dragon illustration type images similar to this. And if I scroll down here, I have a picture of Jesus here. And I create, let's just say, 500 images related to Jesus. Do I post or publish all of them in one shot? The answer is no. I have to logically do this where I create tons and tons and tons, but I need variety as well. And I publish a small amount every day. You see where I'm going there? Or I, when I say publish, really what I mean is I uh, submit them for publication. And then they are going to be reviewed, etc. Why? Because from the algorithm, although Adobe Stock does not actually talk about this, but I believe in safety, and you, there's, no, there's no issues in terms of automating, but the issues come into play when you're submitting. Me personally, if I was reviewing somebody's account, and I see that they've created a thousand different leopard images, and they're submitting all in one shot, to me, something doesn't look right there. Maybe it looks like spam, or botting, or some sort of issue, Right? So logically, I would not do that. I would create all kinds of different variety and submit the variety. Does that make sense? So I get how people, when, when you're using a tool this powerful, can really get ahead of themselves and submit a lot of images in one shot because this tool can do that for you. You just saw me tag and title with zero effort, literally one click, a bunch of images and I could just literally sit here and do nothing, and it will just tag all of these for me. And in fact, you know, that's what I have done on, you see here in this account, I have 3,793 images. Every single one of these images are pretty much ready to go. All I have to do is, you know, select them in bulk, just like this, right? Make sure that they're not recognizable property. Make sure it's AI generated, hit save, and they're effectively ready. You could see how much are already ready, right? I just have to add titles to them. A lot of them don't have titles right now, um, but at least on this page. But the point is, is that I this is a very powerful tool, and I could submit plenty of images. But remember, guys, when you submit, and this is my tip to you, because I know people are going to use this tool, and I don't want them to get ahead of themselves. You have to think of longevity, and you got to think of success. So submit a variation. Now, I want to be clear. I'm going to say this again because I know people are going to say ask this in the comments. Does this tool get you banned? No, it does not get you banned because what it does is it just writes text in the title, text in the description, uh, in the keywords. That's it. That's all it does. You have the responsibility of controlling the submissions, okay? I literally, like I said, in the past month have been using this tool over and over and over. These 3,793 plus images... These images have been sitting here in this account before I was sick for most of them, not all of them, but most of them. I think like over 4,000. I think it was like 4,200 before I was sick. I don't know if you guys remember, but I, I said in the members area I was going to create progress reports showing different account, uh, showing a new account, building it. This is the new account that I'm building. And uh, I didn't really get much of a chance to work on it when I was sick. But now that I'm back, I was doing some work on it and I was doing all the submission uh the, the titles and tags so i've been testing like i said on and off for about the past month and i've had zero issues the costs are very very low to operate this thing um we're talking you know maybe over a thousand images less than like i don't, I don't know what the number is but definitely not over a dollar in cost and we're talking about how easy it is to run this so i'm figuring out at this point all the different ways that i can manipulate software manipulate money to automate and create more. My whole benefit of this thing is that when I publish these images, they're going to pay me perpetually throughout time for the next two years, for the next five years, whatever the number is, right? And it's just going to continue to pay me a very small amount over time. Now, the good thing about this is I have enough ad ad assets on Adobe Stock, and we're just talking about Adobe Stock alone, not talk about any other site right now that pays for itself over and over and over with a multiple. So if I only spent money and I never submitted another image for like the next two years, I'd still generate money every single day. And that's kind of the goal that I've been telling you guys is segment your goals. If you're not making money every day, figure out how to make money one, uh, every week. Then figure out how to make money once every three days. 
then once every day on Adobe Stock. You know, get some sort of download, and then every day, you know, and then once you get to every day, figure out how do you get to $3 a day, $5 a day, $10 a day, and so on and so forth. So for me, I can buy all these tools 10 times over, maybe not 10 times over. Let me do the math on that because if this is $50, 10 times over is 500, 500 times 10. Okay, I don't want to do the math on this, but maybe, you know, I could spend up to, let's just say, over 1400 and break even or close to break even, pretty much closing my eyes every single month without doing any kind of work for the rest of the year. But I don't want to do that. I want to submit more and more and more and more, and that's kind of my goal. So my point here is, is that this is a very powerful tool. When you create images, create tons of diversity, submit images in bundles with diversity. Okay, don't just submit all the same images. Like I said, I'm trying to give you guys these tips so that you guys can have longevity in this business, all right? If you have questions on this tool, ask me them. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave links in the pinned comment. I'll also leave links to other more, uh, you know, cheaper tools for beginners that are easier to use. Um, and if you want to segment things where you're not ready to pay for both tools, you can use an only a title tool, only a tagging tool, you know, it just depends on what you need. But I'll leave links in the description. You can access the tools. If you have any questions, comment them uh, and let me know. All right. I also, on the landing page for this tool, by the way, this is just a little FYI, the video on there is a video of my account showing the whole entire usage of it for a whole hundred images. You'll see how long it takes. It's very, very quick. It just takes a few minutes and tags and titles, like I said, every single image on the page with zero effort. I just have to, you know, hit stop, hit refresh, hit save work. That's it. Done. You know, there's not too much to it. So thanks for watching. I'm going to make more videos on this in the future for sure because it's very effective. Like I said, it's very impactful. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later, right? Leave your comments and questions in the comments down below. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Bye.